I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on application of derivatives. We will actually apply implicit derivation in this particular example. The question is find the equations of tangents to the curve defined by x square plus xy plus y square equals to 19 at the points on the curve where y equals to 2. So we are given that the points are on the curve, right? So they are not external points. These points are on the curve. However, we need to find equations of tangents. That is, you can expect to have more than one tangent. You will realize that the function, I mean, the equation given does not represent a function, right? So therefore, two tangents are possible. It is a relation. Okay. So with that, let's begin to answer. We need to find equation of tangents to the curve, which is defined by x square plus xy plus y square equals to 19, where y equals to 2. So if y is equals to 2, let us find what x is. Is it okay? So we know where y equals to 2. So let us substitute 2 in this equation and find the value of x. So we get x squared plus y is 2. So we get 2y plus 2 squared, which is 4, equals to 19. So we substituted y equals to 2 in our equation. Uh, I mean 2x, right? So we substitute 2 for y. So, so we could write this as x squared plus 2x, bringing 19 this side, we get plus 4 minus 19 equals to 0, or x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals to 0. This can be factored. We can write this as 5 times 3 is 15, right? So 5 positive, 3 negative equals to 0. So that gives you two values of x. One is minus 5, the other one is 3. So that means the points on this curve are minus 5 and 2, and the other point is 3, 2, right? So both these points are on the curve. I hope this part is absolutely clear. Okay. Now, let's find the derivative. The function is x squared plus xy equals to y squared equals to 19, I mean. So, okay. So, let me write down. So, we have x squared plus xy plus y squared equals to 19. Let us differentiate with respect to x on both the sides. So, when we do that, we get 2x plus here we are going to apply the product rule. Derivative of x is 1, so we get y plus x times dy dx plus 2y dy dx equals to 0. So that becomes the derivative, right? Now we can isolate dy dx. So we get x dy dx plus 2y dy dx equals to negative 2x negative y. Taking dy dx common, we get x plus 2y times dy dx equals to negative 2x negative y or dy dx is equals to negative 2x negative y over x plus 2y. Now, for these two points, we'll get two different slopes, correct? Based on those two slopes, we get two different equations of tangents. So that's the whole idea, right? So let's find derivatives for each point. Let's work one by one. So in case, I use the point, let me use the space now. 
So, so dy dx is given to us like this. If I use minus 5 and 2, let's say, say if I use the point minus 5 and 2, in that case, what is dy dx? So in that case, dy dx is equal to substituting minus 5 for x, we get plus 10. And here if I write 2, I get minus 2 divided by minus 5 and 2 times 2 is 4 plus 4. So that gives you 8 over minus 1 or slope of minus 8. Do you see that? So we get slope of minus 8. Now let's find equation of this line. So line 1 is slope of minus 8, point is minus 5, 2. So we can write this as y minus 2 equals to slope of minus 8 times x minus minus 5, which is plus 5, right? So let's open this bracket. So we get y minus 2 equals to minus 8x minus 40. Bring the terms together. So we have 8x plus y plus 38 equals to 0. So that becomes our first equation, right? Is that clear, right? So we get 8x plus y plus 38 equals to 0. Now, let us substitute the second point, which is 3, 2 here. So we get dy dx as here, if I write 3 and 2, so 3 times 2 is 6 minus 6, that is, minus 2, divided by 3 plus 4. So that gives us minus 8 over 4 plus 3 is 7. So minus 8 over 7 is the slope. So for the line 2, we'll again write y minus, now we are working with, with this set of points, right? So we are working with 3, 2. We have a slope m as minus 8 over 7. So the equation is y minus 2 equals to the slope minus 8 over 7 times x minus 3. So let's multiply by 7. So we get 7 by minus 7 times 2 as 14 equals to minus 8x plus 8 times 3, 24. Bringing 8x here, we get plus 7y. Bringing 24 as minus 24, uh, we get minus 38 equals to 0. So that becomes the second equation. Is that clear? So that is how we can get two different equations. Note, we do have the words equations and tangents. However, it is specified that y equals to 2 is on the curve. And therefore, we use this equation to find the x value. Since this is not a function, it is a relation. We got two points, right? So for two x values, we got this two. And now we could find equation of tangent line using implicit derivation as we did here. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.